guys, my name is Sean and today I'm going to show you the difference between an amphibious tank and a normal, sh an amphibious Sherman tank and a normal Sherman tank. During the World War, while Germany was <coughs> invading Europe and France and Poland, they were also making more and, and adva more advanced tanks every day. So the Allies had to come up with a tank that is capable of overrunning their tanks. So the American engineers came up with the Sherman tank. The Sherman tank can go 25 miles per hour. It had a 35 meter gun, one machine gun. Um, <clears throat> it was as long as a minivan and its turret was as long as this, um, actually, it was as wide as this balcony that I'm sitting on, um, and then, and then the Allies, after Hitler, the German general, had created the Atlantic Wall, the American, the Allies were, were going to make, were going to embark on an amphibious assault. But what they learned is that getting tanks to the beach in boats was hard. So what they did, they made an amphibious tank. An amphibious Sherman tank is able to float, has propellers on the back, and it, and it can drive like a boat from land to sea. The difference is this can float, this cannot. Also, they have these funnels when it's in water, steam will come out, moist will come out of this, um, stopping the tank from flooding. <clears throat> then the rest of the tank here is sealed up. Also, um, they also upgraded the Sherman tank. This Sherman tank has extra armor. And um, it has the same, it's the same, oh, sorry. It's, just, it's the same size and the same length. And they both, have 35 millimeter guns and yeah um thanks guys for watching hope you learned something bye